di questa sera eh, si inserisce nell'ambito di una collaborazione tra il Festival della Scienza di Foligno e il Festival della Scienza di San Pietroburgo, che è stata promossa dall'Istituto Italiano di Cultura eh, di San Pietroburgo, che io dirigo. La eh, dottoressa Iscarcova questa sera eh, presenterà una nuova applicazione che si chiama NeuroChat ed è un'applicazione eh, che serve a far comunicare le persone che hanno avuto gravi incidenti e quindi che non riescono più a muoversi e a comunicare in altro modo che non con dei movimenti degli occhi. Io eh, non ho altro da dire perché insomma di solito le persone vengono a sentire il relatore, non chi lo presenta, quindi gli do immediatamente la parola. Grazie. Uh, good day, dear friends. I'm very glad to be here. Uh, thanks for organizations. And uh, today I would like to tell you about unique technology from Russia which called NeuroChat. So, but at first I want to pay your attention to problems of disabled people. Uh, as you know, as we all know, uh, the base of human life is communication. And every day we need to talk something to somebody, we need to connect with our friends, with our colleagues, with our parents. And uh, we are free to uh, type some words, type some messages by internet. Unfortunately, there are many people who every day need help. Help with movements, help in everyday needs, and help in communication. Modern science has found in different ways to improve life these people. And one way to improve it is to use NeuroChat. So, what is NeuroChat? Uh, NeuroChat is uh, the communicational system which is made for people who can't talk and can't move. And they uh, can't use their voices uh, and their hands, but they still can use their brain intention to talk to people. Uh, our system allows these people to type messages and uh, some words only with their brain activity. Can you imagine it? So, uh, there are many disabled people who locked in their bodies and they don't have opportunity to talk to, some, to, to somebody. And uh, our system gives the chance to move the physical boundaries of these people. Now I'll tell you more about our system, about our complex, which is called NeuroChat. So, uh, you can see on the screen. Um, our system is made of two main parts. The first is a hardware complex, and it's the special neuro headset which we put on the patient head. And the second part is a software complex. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it's a kind of a virtual keyboard or neuro interface. Uh, it's not the main thing uh, of software complex, uh, but our patient mostly use this part of, neuro, uh, of uh, software complex. And uh, on this picture you can see how the system looks. Okay, who can use our system? Who can use NeuroChat? We already working with a wide range of diagnoses, uh, like strokes, cerebral palsy, traumatic brain injuries, ALS, and different uh, injuries and traumas. And NeuroChat for these people, it's a great opportunity for self-realization. Um, there are no age limits to use NeuroChat, of course, if you know alphabet and if you can read. But uh, there are two main conditions to use our system. 
First is preserved brain, and second, preserved vision. So, uh, now I'll tell you how does it work how our patient can use uh, NeuroChat. Uh, so on this screen, you can see our patient and friend, his name Max, and uh, his diagnosis is cerebral palsy, uh, and he is already using our system. So how does it work? Um, as you can see, we put our uh, neuro headset on the patient's head. It's uh, really convenient, and without any cables, it's very small, and our patient can use it for a long time. So, when we put uh, this neuro headset on the patient's head, our patient will see on the screen uh, some of virtual keyboard. So, this typing process you can see on the screen. Uh, first, uh, all the letters on the screen are black. Our patient will see this virtual keyboard on the screen. All the letters are black, but some of them will be enlightened with the white color sometime. And uh, our patient have to concentrate on the first letter of word that he wants to type. For example, he wants to type hello. H-E-L-L-O. So, uh, he uh, had to concentrate on the first letter, H, and uh, when his letter, H, changed this color from black to white, his brain reacts. And our special neuro headset detects his reaction and it gives signal to the system that H might be his letter, the letter that he wants to type. And when the system gets some reaction several times and it understands for sure that H is letter that he wants to type, it types the letter on the screen. And thus, our patient can uh, type letter by letter the whole word. Uh, so, uh, he, um, we already work with the NeuroChat in uh, some rehabilitation centers in Russia. It's very important for us because we can uh, get some feedback from our users. And together with our users, we can make change that they really need. It's uh, very important for us. And uh, because there are many uh, projects and systems uh, which was made for uh, people with disabilities, but they are still living in laboratories. They are not in market. And NeuroChat is the unique system because uh, our system is already available for the users. And it's um, important to, to know that this is not kind of a medical stuff. It's kind of communicator. As we all have our mobile phones, uh, people uh, with, disabilities, with disabilities have their neurochat. And uh, so uh, our system is already at the hands of people for whom it was developed. And uh, now I will tell you a little more about one of our patients, and I'll show you, show, show you uh, his dynamic. So, uh, on the right part of the screen, you can see the word that he was typing. Uh, he uh, typed it in Russian, and uh, we translated it. So. Three days, first day, fifth day, and tenth day. Red color means mistakes. So, first day, two mistakes. Fifth day, one mistake. And tenth day, no mistakes at all. What does it mean? It means uh, that more practice, less mistakes. 
he was practiced and he was reduced the amount of mistakes. So from two mistakes to no mistakes, just 10 days. For someone, it would be 10 days for no mistakes at all. For someone, it would be 15th day for no, for no mistakes. And for someone, it would be just one day for no mistakes at the beginning. It depends from the person. And here is the real results of the real person. Uh, at the moment, uh, 40 patients in Russia are actively using NeuroChat. Someone in rehabilitation centers and someone at home in their houses. And uh, in the months, uh, we plan to connect 100 more patients to our, to our system, to NeuroChat. And uh, now we're just uh, waiting uh, new neuro headsets for them. Uh, also, uh, this year in February, uh, the first international communication session between Russia and USA has been carried out with help of NeuroChat. Uh, we have to pay, we had two patients. Uh, patient from Moscow and patient from Los Angeles. And uh, two people have communicated using NeuroChat. Uh, it was so simple because multilingual translator allowed communication between people from different countries. Um, both of the patients were using NeuroChat to type messages and both of them were using their mother tongue. Uh, they just typed several uh, messages to each other, like, hello, Americans, hello, and something like this. And uh, this was the special event for all the world, for neuroscience, uh, because it was the first time to use any neurocommunicational systems to talk to someone, not only in laboratory, in our laboratory in Moscow, but in our, but even in our continent. Uh, and our colleagues were so impressed, uh, we were really impressed, and we have some plan, and we already uh, ready to work with patients from USA. Um, so, uh, also, we have some futures in our system, and first thing to name is uh, our predictive system. Uh, so, how does it work? Uh, it's like the Google search. Uh, I, I'll uh, talk to you how does it work now. Uh, when uh, when our user starts to type his word, for example, hello, hello, H-E-L-L-O, uh, when he starts uh, to type uh, first letters, uh, H and E, on the left part of the screen, he will see some words that our predictive system allows to him, uh, or oh, offers to him, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's like predict which word uh, he wants to type. Uh, for example, he will see hello, helicopter, because the, he was typed first uh, letters, H and E. And when he can see his words in the left part of the screen, he can just concentrate on the whole word and choose this word and will type it. Uh, he doesn't need to type all the letters of the world. Uh, he can type just several of them and then just choose word from the left part of the screen. So uh, what else we have to know about our system, about NeuroChat? Uh, we have translator, uh, which integrated into the NeuroChat. And this translator allows our user to talk to people from abroad, from other countries. Uh, this future 
make translate uh, messages of disability people uh, on the flow. What does it mean? It means that when our Russian user uh, uh, sends some message in Russian to his uh, friend from different country, from, for example, from Italy, um, she, he just uh, sent their me his message and his Italian friend will receive uh, his message not in Russian, but in Italian. And the same when his Italian friend will reply to message uh, to uh, his Russian friend, uh, user from Russia will receive message on the Russian or in Russian. And this translator allowed us to carry out international communication and session with the United States. And so this how NeuroChat helps not only to move the boundaries of their physical abilities, uh, but also get geographical boundaries. And by the end of this year, uh, we are planning to connect 400 more patients to the NeuroChat system. And uh, in, the in the future, uh, we are planning to uh, make some improvements. Uh, for example, like smart home system, uh, this option will allow patients to control lighting system, TV set, and something like this. Uh, verticalizer, this option is really, really important because uh, it, give possibility, it gives possibility to control the position of a medical bed. Uh, for our patients, it's really important. And uh, we hope and then we will get a wide range of neuro headsets. And uh, we will have access to information blocks in NeuroChat, for example, like uh, culture blocks, sport, and other news. And uh, we will integrate our system with messages and other useful services. And um, as I said earlier, uh, we are improving our system together with our users. Because having the opportunity to communicate again and to interact with the world, expanding the boundaries of self-service, disabled people will cease to be doomed to loneliness. So on this uh, on the screen you can see uh, some information about NeuroChat, for example, uh, our neuro headset is already ninth version, and um, our user can get it now. And so, uh, if you are interested uh, in cooperation with us, just contact us. You just can uh, write me on my email. So, and uh, now I would like to show you our film about NeuroChat, about our patients, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. So, let's begin. <laughs> Но жизнь в любую секунду может лишить нас этой свободы. Кого-то внезапно, а кого-то с момента появления на свет. У нас диагноз ДЦП – гиперкинетическая форма. Это когда руки и ноги самопроизвольно движутся, они неуправляемы. Руки, ноги, все зафиксировано. Работает только голова. А поскольку ребенку нужно было и общаться, и учиться, 
первые дали вот такой роллер с двумя кнопками. Потом мы пришли к чему? Стилус вот такой. И этим начали печатать. Работа с помощью стилуса с закрепленным на голове устройством достаточно громоздкий. Нужны новые технологии. Вот так вот мы пришли к тому, чтобы попробовать его э, в нашем исследовании по нейрочату. Нейрочат – это сетевая коммуникация для людей, которые по каким-либо причинам лишились э, возможности говорить и двигаться. Его основная суть, чтобы человек мог напрямую, без речи и движения, коммуницировать с другими людьми. Поэтому базовая технология называется интерфейс мозг-компьютер. Проект был задуман чуть меньше двух лет назад, но на его разработку и утверждение ушло почти 9 месяцев. Буквально так же, как рождается ребенок. Он стал одним из первых проектов национальной технологической инициативы по разработке и продвижению новых рынков. И это рынок нейронет. Мы запустили этот проект параллельно. Научная группа заканчивала мир. Разработчики железа начали разработку усилителя. Промышленные дизайнеры начали разработку нейрогарнитуры и крепления электрода. Для нас это был интересный очень проект из-за того, что наши головы абсолютно разного размера и у абсолютно разных форм. Здесь не подошли никакие аналоги, которые мы смотрели. Основная история происходит вот здесь. Здесь электроды, которые должны очень плотно примыкать к задней стороне головы. Было сделано порядка 8 или 9 типов крепления. Там были дружинки такого типа, какие-то изделия совершенно странные, которые я даже не знаю, как одеть. Тип, наиболее приближенный к тому, что будет позже, это система, когда мы запаиваем провода внутрь вот этого паучка, который снимается и э, может мыться. Это абсолютно новая история, которая может совершить серьезнейший прорыв в медицине. получили уже российский патент и вышли на площадку центра преодоления, где есть именно те пациенты, которые нуждаются в такой технологии. Вот так К нам пришло это оборудование уже в законченном варианте, оформленное уровень оборудования, он просто поражает своими возможностями. И начались первые клинические испытания. Мы регистрируем электрические потенциалы э, головного мозга. Но наша задача расшифровать, в какой момент, какую букву задумал напечатать на экране компьютера человек. Эта часть дела закончена, и проект называется нейрокоммуникатор. Но теперь мы хотим пойти дальше. Идея наша заключается в том, что создать уже ну, следующий уровень такой коммуникации, не нейрокоммуникатор, а нейрочат. То есть, когда человек может включиться в социальную сеть. 
Человек сможет подбирать себе компаньонов по разговорам, по интересам. Туда могут приходить люди, которые хотели бы помочь этому пациенту. И в конце концов, если человек начинает пользоваться такой сетью, он может получить просто-напросто посильный труд. Можно заниматься переводами, можно заниматься каким-то другим общением. Это полноценное получается, насколько это возможно, включение человека в социум. После комы, то есть не, было неизвестно, сохранен интеллект, не сохранен. То есть, когда поняли, что сохранен интеллект, нужно было как-то общаться, потому что ребенок не говорил, была трахеостома, гастростома. Вот. То есть, условно разбили русский алфавит на две части. До, К и после К. То есть, общаемся посредством моргания глаз. У Федотовой Маши тяжелое поражение ствола мозга. Когда у нее появится дополнительная двигательная функция, мы сейчас сказать не можем. И вот нейрочат, возможность для нее выйти на просторы знаний, интернета, информации и получать их самостоятельно. Сегодня медицина достаточно хорошо развита в мире. И мы научились спасать людей после аварий, катастроф, после инсультов. И если после этого они еще остаются наедине сами с собой, то они теряют мотивацию к жизни. Вот наша задача – помочь этим людям. Более того, эта технология позволяет преодолеть еще один барьер, который существует на сегодняшний день. Это языковой барьер. Планируется в ближайшее время коммуникация двух пациентов, находящихся один в реабилитационном центре Лос-Анджелеса, а второй в центре преодоления. Один пациент будет обращаться на русском языке, а другой пациент будет обращаться на английском. Технологии сегодняшнего перевода позволяют делать этот перевод в пути. В дальнейшем мы понимаем, что эта сеть может распространиться на все страны мира. около 400 тысяч новых случаев инсульта, примерно столько же черепно-мозговых травм. В целом по миру статистика еще страшнее. Но люди продолжают жить. Они хотят радоваться, общаться с родственниками и друзьями из разных городов и уголков планеты. И поэтому они ждут, когда нейрочат придет в их жизнь. That's all. Thank you very much. So, uh, if you uh, have some questions for me, you just uh, write me on my email, and I'll reply to you. Thank you very much for your attention. I was very glad to be here. Thank you very much.
-hmm. with the hospital, with the sick and treating them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any questions for them? Will be any questions for eh, Starbucks? Eh, I ask, I ask. Oh. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes, please. Ah, to translate. Um, I'm sorry, uh, could you repeat uh, the late? <laughs> oh, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, thank you. In Italian. In Italian? You can speak in Italian and uh, the translator. And uh, sorry, thank you for the question. <laughs> I'll try to answer to it. Uh, we have Russian patent, and uh, now uh, we will start uh, to get patients from our countries. And in future, we plan to uh, get NeuroChat uh, to uh, different countries, uh, for example, from US, uh, in USA. And um, I hope uh, we will connect with Italian government to uh, okay. to move. The, uh -huh. Yeah, the child. Mm -hmm. Cioè, nel senso, a loro la, la stanno utilizzando, c'è 40 pazienti, quindi diciamo che è entrata in attività, in attività dal febbraio scorso. Quindi la usano sempre con un'assistenza del sistema NeuroChart, cioè non la usano uh, da soli a casa al momento. Mm -hmm. <ride> Yes, our system uh, uh, have uh, very much help to our uh, patients and uh, they can uh, use NeuroChat to talk uh, with the medical staff, uh, with, with medical, uh, um, with doctors and uh, it uh, give many, many uh, opportunities for these people. They uh, already use it. So I'm sorry for my Italian. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs>